As computers can only process the ones and zeros that we know to be binary, all data stored on a computer is in binary form. If we had to carry out our daily tasks on a computer using only binary, it would be extremely time-consuming and challenging. Typing the ones and zeros that represent each character would take you much longer than typing out the characters the binary numbers represent. Also, imagine having to type in each binary digit needed to create your favorite images. It would be extremely difficult. Depending on its resolution, a character might require 100 bits of data. An image might require millions of bits. A number of systems and software were developed to do this for users. And they help a computer store different data such as text, images, video and audio. These are text, numbers and symbols, pictures, sound, data compression. There are two systems commonly used for character, text, numbers and symbols, representation, namely ASCII and Unicode. ASCII uses only 8 bits, giving a possible 256 characters. It is suitable for standard English, but does not contain a large enough character set for some other languages. This is when Unicode is used, as it contains many more characters. Unicode uses 16 bits, giving 65,536 possible characters. In ASCII and Unicode, each character is represented as a binary number. We regularly use our computers to store and view images. An image, as we see it, is analog data, but a computer will only understand it if it is digital data. We need to convert analog data into digital data for a computer to process it. This can be done using various devices, such as a scanner or a digital camera. Images are made up of pixels. A pixel is a tiny dot on the screen. If an image was simply black and white, each pixel would either be black or white. A 1 would represent a black pixel and a 0 would represent a white pixel. Using this, we can look simply at how an image is created. The sound we hear is also analog, but, as we know, Computers work digitally and can only process binary. We need to convert the analog sound into binary for a computer to be able to process it. Sound is recorded using a microphone and converted to binary by software. Sound is recorded at set timed intervals. This process is known as sampling. The samples are then converted into binary. If the set timed intervals are closer together, the soundtrack will be higher in quality. Simply, with more samples, the sound can be more accurately captured. Sample rates are measured in hertz. 1 hertz equals 1 sample per second. A telephone communication samples a voice at 8000 hertz, but a higher quality recording, such as a CD, samples music at 44100 hertz. Data compression is when the bit structure of a file is manipulated in such a way that the data in a file will become smaller in size. This means that less storage space will be needed to store the file, and the file will be easier to transmit from one device to another. Data compression 
is done by using compression algorithms that manipulate the data. These algorithms normally manipulate the data so that repeating data is removed either on a temporary or a permanent basis depending on the method used.